The world of Hyrule is full of mysteries and secrets to find and explore, and with Breath of the Wild's huge open world, it's no surprise that the world is also teeming with life in the form of wildlife, different races, and of course, monsters. On your travels, you come across a wide range of different travelers and merchants, and most seem like fairly normal people. But before long, you will come across travelers that seem friendly, until you engage in conversation with them, that is. So there you stand, talking to what seems to be a friendly Hylian, when all of a sudden their mood changes and they switch it up to say something like, Be gone, enemy of my master or for the boss, and then they proceed to attack you. Before long, you have been in the same situation countless times and still don't understand what the hell is going on. We first learn about this enemy type when we arrive at Kakariko Village. After completing the Seek Out Impa quest, we are told that there is an enemy called the Yiga Clan. The Yiga Clan consists of Shika, who abandoned the royal family of Hyrule and pledge their allegiance to Calamity Ganon. We can see this by the upside down Shika symbol they wear on their mask to cover their face. They have been commanded by Calamity Ganon to stop Link in his tracks and to rid him once and for all. They tend to be alone to try to catch Link off guard and to have the element of surprise. Although it is unclear how many clansmen there are in total, it's assumed a lot as Link can never truly rid them from Hyrule. Although this could actually be because Calamity Ganon brings them back during a blood moon. The Yiga come in a couple of different sizes, yielding different weapons and attacks. Starting with the Yiga foot soldiers, these are the lowest ranked members of the clan. They are scattered throughout Hyrule, often disguised as travellers or villagers, so be sure to be suspicious of people you encounter in the wild. They are very agile and carry a bow and a one-handed sword. The other, more terrifying and deadly, is the Yiga Blademaster. These are the elite soldiers of the Yiga clan. They favor the Wind Cleaver Blade and are extremely agile despite their bulky build. At this Yiga clan rank, they have mastered a technique that allows them to manipulate the very earth. By striking the ground, they can create stone pillars and blasts of air that can be fatal to Link. The weapons the Yiga carry are as follows. Duplex Bow, Demon Carver, Vicious Sickle and the mighty Wind Cleaver. But it's not just Link that the Yiga are trying to punish. This vicious clan attack anyone that gets in their way and steals anything they want. This is proven when Link arrives at Gerudu Town after he obtains a disguise to get past the guards and we get to speak with Riju. Sometime before the events of Breath of the Wild, the Yiga clan, after nearly a century of careful planning, had managed to steal the Thunder Helm a valuable heirloom of the Royal Gerudu family line. With his recent heiress being Riju, this was an impressive feat as Gerudu town is heavily guarded and the guards are keen lookouts due to men occasionally attempting to unlawfully enter. The Gerudu, having once been a tribe of thieves, were greatly ashamed of the theft and the guards became determined to locate the Yiga clan hideout and retrieve it to restore Gerudu honor and punish the Yiga clan for stealing it. Riji requests Link's aid in retrieving the helm in exchange for her help in entering Varna Boris. She and Buliara direct him to Gerudu guard Captain Teak, whom is leading a hunt for the Yiga as Buliara refuses to leave Riji's side. After asking around among Teak and her subordinates for the possible location of the Yiga clan hideout, Link eventually manages to find it in Karusa Valley Link must then sneak his way through the hideout, where he confronts the leader of the clan, Master Koga, to reclaim the Thunder Helm. Master Koga is a very pathetic leader. He really isn't much of a challenge, and after his defeat, this is even more clear when Calamity Ganon doesn't resurrect him, as he does with the other Yiga clansmen during a blood moon. It's unclear why the Yiga respect Master Koga so much, but it is known that they see him as a great figure of authority he spends most of his time napping and loafing around. Just like every other Yiga clansman, Master Koga loves bananas. However, he is also known to possess many secrets about the Shika tribe, which could explain how they have achieved as much as they have. It is revealed by the Shika Kado that after having proved to be key in sealing Calamity Ganon, 
10,000 years ago, the ancient Sheikah technology was at first praised as the power of the gods. However, the people of Hyrule began to fear their technology as a threat to the kingdom. As a result, the Sheikah became outcasts and lived in exile. Although most Sheikah chose to cast off their technology and live simple lives, others fostered hatred towards the kingdom of Hyrule for shunning the Sheikah despite all they had done for it, leading them to swear allegiance to Ganon. This resulted in the creation of the Yiga clan, who dedicate themselves to eliminating all who stand against Ganon. The Yiga clan are a huge part of Breath of the Wild's story, and they are mentioned countless times throughout the game. At one point, the Yiga clan attempted to assassinate Princess Zelda before she could awaken her sealing powers which were a great threat to Calamity Ganon's return. However, Zelda's appointed knight, the Hylian champion Link, heroically defended her from the Yiga clan blades showing that even the princess was never safe from the ever-growing threat of the Yiga clan. The Sheikah, still loyal to Hyrule, are shown to view the Yiga as a serious threat also, to the point that even walking around Kakariko village at night was considered dangerous for all but the most experienced Sheikah warriors. It is also implied that Robbie has Link show him his scars during the Robbie's research side quest to prove his identity, to ensure he was not a Yiga in disguise as Robbie is an enemy of Ganon, who has been working on developing ancient weaponry for Link to aid him in his quest. The Yiga clan are by far one of the most interesting enemy types in the Zelda series, with so much depth and character put into the design and the personality, it's no wonder everyone is so intrigued about this dangerous clan. I love the Yiga clan and cannot wait to see their return in Breath of the Wild 2. That's all from me for now though, if you did enjoy the video, hit subscribe as it really does help out the channel. I upload weekly Zelda related content and will be covering everything Breath of the Wild 2 related as well. Thank you for watching and hit the like button if you learned something new. Don't forget to follow me over on Twitter and I'll see you all in the next one.